But if you're not 100% sure, do not commit. You're at the end of your summer internship. How did it go? Today, I want to talk a little bit about how to prepare for the end of the summer review. The most important thing that you can do is to prepare and review how you think the summer went. What grade would you give yourself? And no grade inflation. Think about the five things that you think that you took away from this summer internship. What were the five learnings? What were the things that you identified that you could spend some more time doing? You need to invest more there in order to get really good at that. You want to be able to construct that narrative because when you go into your summer intern review, the first thing the person is going to say to you is, hey, so-and-so, how was your summer? And you want to be ready and prepared with a narrative that's something like this. Man, this was a great summer. I was warned that this was going to be the fastest 10 or 12 weeks of my life, and it didn't disappoint. This has been the fastest 10 or 12 weeks of my life. However, I think it's really been a productive time. There are five things that I identified that I learned this summer. A, B, C, D, and E. I also realized that there were two skills that I'd like to invest more time in when I go back to campus. Maybe that's you'd like to write a little bit more. Maybe you want to enhance your research skills. Maybe you want to continue to enhance and improve on your analytical and your quantitative skills. Whatever they are, you say that I identified these things, I liked it, I learned things I'd never seen before, and I'm going to invest more. And you might want to talk about whether or not you found areas over the course of the summer that you really liked and now you're thinking more critically about those areas as your career pursuits. Then the person is going to start to talk to you about how they viewed your summer. And here is where you lean all the way in and listen. Do not debate, do not interrupt, listen. Now, maybe they're going to say to you, you had a terrific summer from our perspective. You were diligent, you asked great questions, you were very engaged, your team came to rely upon you. You listen, you listen, you listen, you take it all in. And then you say, I'm really happy to hear that because that's what I was aiming for. And I'm glad that I was able to do that. And hopefully that will earn me an opportunity to return. The second outcome could be, oh, you had a rough start, but you seem to be able to get it together. You did these three things quite well. We identified these two things. And again, you take it in. Now you ask questions after they have finished giving you the feedback, only if there are some things that you didn't understand. Maybe they gave you a critique that was very broad and you'd like to get more specificity around it. Maybe they said something that you really didn't understand where that feedback could have come from. And if that's the case, now you, your response should be something like this. Thank you so much for that feedback. I really appreciate it. I do have a couple of questions. I didn't quite understand when you said X, or I'm not sure where that feedback might have come from. Can you give me a little bit more color around it so I can understand the context and what I might have done? And then you listen to their answer and you see how they're going to end it up. Now, they may ask you, are you interested in coming back? Would you be interested in taking an offer? Here's where I want you to be quite careful. You don't want to say yes unless you're absolutely sure that you want that offer in that department at that company. If there's any doubt in your mind or if you're talking to other potential employer candidates, then I'm going to tell you to say something like this. Wow, I would really be honored to get an offer. However, I still would want to discuss this with my parents or my mentor or my professor. So I'd want a week or two weeks or some time to think about it and evaluate it before I got back to you. But I would be honored to have the offer. So you want to show some enthusiasm about getting the offer 
But if you're not 100% sure, do not commit. Because the last thing you want to do is to say yes and then have to come back later and say, oh, I'm not going to do it now. I changed my mind. You don't want to be seen as somebody who equivocates over a great opportunity. Now, you may get feedback that says you really didn't have a great summer. And if that's the case, you want to spend time really understanding what you should have done and what you could do better and how you should be thinking about your next opportunity. Remember this, feedback is a gift. You can't fix it if you don't know that it's broken. So even though you may be hearing something that is disappointing, is disappointing right now. Use that feedback as leverage for you so that you now have a playbook on what you need to do to get better and how you might need to think about your next opportunity. Remember, the experience itself is valuable. It'd be great to get that offer, but if you didn't, you just want to understand how you can improve so that you can set yourself up for the next great opportunity. It's the end of the summer. Go get them.